Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to go over this issue that was put in the ML.NET repository that is outlining the plans for implementing deep learning in .NET. Y'all may have heard this already, this came out uh, 12 days ago at the time of this recording, but just in case I'm going to kind of go over this and just outline the, what the plans are. Now this kind of came from uh, the customer survey that was done a few months ago and we had the survey results and one of the things was insufficient deep learning support so that is what these plans are going to help out with and kind of a quick overview of the current state of deep learning and ml.net is what the main thing is you can't create a deep learning model from scratch you can't create a neural network in there yet and that's basically what these plans are helping to mitigate but you can do predictions with deep learning models so if you have a tensorflow model or an Onyx model, you can load that in into ML.NET and you can make predictions from it. And there's great support for that. And you can also use transfer learning to take an existing model, like an image or a text model, put your own data to it and get a model based on your data from the, the bigger model that you, that you had. So kind of the plans are in three stages. And the first thing is to make Onyx models easier to consume. So you can use Onyx models currently in ML.NET, but right now you don't know uh, the input and output names in order to, to use that model. And right now we rely on this Netron app where we can open a model. Let's see if I have one here. It's a flowers model. And there you go, you got the input name here, which is image. And then all the way down here, there's the output name, which is flower. And so you have to rely on this Netron app in order to get that information. And so one of the plans they plan to do for this first stage is to kind of expose functionality to get that input and output schema from Onyx models. So you don't have to use that Netron app. And along with that, we're going to help with, with documenting how to do that and add some samples to show that as well. Now the second thing is we're going to help su fully support and productionize Twitch Sharp which is basically .NET bindings to PyTorch. It uh, provides access to library that powers PyTorch. And so using this, this is going to be kind of the key to get deep learning into .NET. And it's going to utilize PyTorch on the back end. And the main thing with this work is to kind of help uh, add some extra features and bug fixes to productionize it so it can be utilized in this third stage, which is going to be to implement Torch Sharp into ML.NET mainly to kind of create some higher level APIs that utilize Torch Sharp for creating your deep neural networks. So kind of like how the, the image classification API is right now for transfer learning, higher level and a lot easier to use API other than kind of just doing it on the back end with uh, TensorFlow.net here. So that's pretty much it. That is the, the plans for deep learning in ML.net. And as you see here, there's some things out of scope where PyTorch has some vision, audio, and text libraries. Uh, they're, they're not going to incorporate that as part of this. If you have any feedback, definitely post into this, this issue. Uh, get some feedback, ask questions, and all that. Uh, they're definitely looking forward to how you can use deep learning and your deep learning and your in models. All right. I hope you enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching.